I suppose the question can often be asked, and that's why should people give back to their university? What I've learned from this process is the value that can be obtained from experience and wealth of the alumni from a university and how that can be channeled to benefit future alumni. Francis McNiff was a trailblazer in law, both in law schools and also in the legal profession more broadly. She had a particular expertise in juvenile justice. She was one of our alumna and she was also a lecturer here in the law school teaching in criminal law. She was the first female magistrate appointed in Victoria at the age of 35 years and she became the first Monash Law graduate to be appointed to that office. I think Francine loved Monash because that's where she did her degree. They were great days at Monash. Uh, she never forgot, obviously never forgot it. Francine established a chair in criminal jurisprudence, which I think was one of her real passions. And a huge scholarship fund for postgraduate study in criminology. So having a named chair that will be named the Francine V. McNiff Chair in Criminal Jurisprudence allows us to do a number of things. First of all, it's a legacy honouring Francine. The second thing is that over the more than 50 years of our history, we've had a proud tradition in criminal law and criminal jurisprudence. So to have a named chair, which is very attractive in the international academic community, for someone who can come to maintain and enhance what we do in criminal law and criminal jurisprudence, is a tremendous boon for the faculty as it launches into its next 50 years. Francine wanted to support uh, excellent postgraduate students in having the opportunity to undertake uh, further study. This scholarship, the Francine V. McNiff Scholarship, will make that possible. So maybe she realised that uh, she could do such a wonderful thing. If alumni uh, were aware of how wonderful Monash is now, and give some thought about doing what Francine did and making a bequest in their will. It doesn't matter how much it is. Think about Monash, think about what a bequest could do and uh, do it. We thank Francine for prioritising students and we will look after her legacy and ensure that those students are able to go forward and transform our communities and lives in just the way that Francine did herself. <laughs>